today we are talking about the local stiffness matrix and global stiffness matrix of a bar element So as we know that a bar element, uh, um, which element we are considering a bar which has a loading condition in the longitudinal axis. So we are uh, using a single element, single bar element. So we are using a single bar element considering and there is a force, uh, let us assume that F force which is at the longitudinal axis. So as we know that uh, a bar has uh, some area modulus of elasticity E then modulus and some length of the bar is F we are considering. So now we are converting into the FEM. So here this is why so we have our two nodes node 1 and node 2. Uh, at the node 1 we have a displacement U1 and node 2 displacement is U2 right and uh, some area E and L. L is the total length. So as we know that uh, we know that that k k uh, what is the stiffness so from strength of material delta l is equal to p l from e e as we know that in the Hooke's law that is uh, stress stress is equal to E dot strain so stress is load upon area that is E or strain is delta L upon L so now we are having a delta L is equal to P L upon E E and as we know that P upon delta L that is equal to P upon delta L is equal to A E upon so this is known as the key stiffness. Now in the bar element we are using a stiffness is AE upon L. Here this is the direct method. So now as we know that for a single element local stiffness matrix in the spring element we know that k equivalent is equal to k minus k minus k and k so now put it here k is a e upon l so for the bar element k equivalent is bar we are using that is a e upon l a e upon l minus a e So we are just common here uh, a upon l so k equivalent for a bar a upon l is common so 1 minus 1 minus 1 and 1 this is the local stiffness matrix of a bar and now we are just converting here the load matrix load matrix so load matrix is f1 f2 is equal to what is here that is a e upon l 1 minus 1 minus 1 that is u1 u2 now let us assume we have a two bar two bar element so that is one is here that is assumed and another one is here we have a two bar element so we have a some area a1 uh, some length l1 and some e, e is the modulus of elasticity e. right and here we are some area of a2 and uh, some length of l2 
and some elasticity is common is e. That is e1 and that is e2. Right. So uh, for the first element, we are considering element two. For first element, stiffness matrix. Stiffness matrix is, uh, as we know that there is force F1, that is force F2, F3, that is node 1, node 2, this is node 3. Displacement U1, displacement U2, displacement U3. So, same it here, U1, F1, 1, it's 2. U2 F2 harder F3 3 first element second element the first element stiffness matrix is uh, K K equivalent for first is A1 E1 upon L1 it is 1 minus 1 minus 1 Clear. And for the second, element k equivalent second is a2 e2 by l1 1 minus 1 minus 1. Now the load stiffness matrix stiffness. is F1, F2, F3 there is no common that is A1 different, E1 different, L1 different, A2 different, E2 different and L2 different so both should be multiplied inside and then we are just adding here so we are getting here is A1, E1, L1 minus A1, E1, L1 minus a1 e1 l1 and that is here is a1 e1 l1 now here is adding of the this element so plus a2 e2 l2 minus a2 e2 l2 minus a2 e2 l2 and a2 e2 now here is a 0, 0. Right. As we know that they, we have a 3 nodes. So that is 3 degree of freedom. So that means uh, the matrix should be 3 by 3 matrix. Will be generated at the global stiffness matrix. So this is the load stiffness matrix. That is U1 and U3. This is the displacement. Now the hole, this, this hole is known as a global stiffness matrix of a two bar element thank you all